Hey guys, it's Danielle here and today we're going to be doing a tutorial for the Timed Rewards plugin. So Timed Rewards is a plugin which allows players to claim rewards over a set period of time. In other words, this plugin is very similar to Hypixel's Delivery Man. To start off, the first command that I'm going to show you guys is slash rewards which opens the rewards menu. This is all pre-configured and will come when you download the plugin. And with these delivery mystery boxes, whatever they're called, uh, there's also an Elias, which is just slash reward. That also works, both work, doesn't matter. And when we claim it, you can, you heard a sound, there was a firework, I got whatever reward was set while I go into my inventory. And this is what it looks like after you claimed it. Minecart says it's delivered and how long it is since you can claim it again. And you can do that with the other ones, but there's no fireworks or sound effects set in the config for these ones. So you guys would have heard nothing and seen nothing. And I'm pretty sure you guys went all this way to watch the video to see how you can make your own rewards, not just use these pre-configured ones. So I'm gonna show you how to make your own rewards. There's two ways. First way, if I do, no, if I do, yeah, the right one, TRS help, you would see on, or at least on the first page, there are a lot of other pages. You can see there's add reward, remove reward, set name, what, and a lot of other commands, which means that you guys can create these rewards in game. Yeah, I know, wow. You can also do the help page by TR help, but it, the T slash TR may conflict with citizens, which is why it's only an Elias and the main command is TRS. Second way is the config. Well, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do this via config because it's a lot simpler and easier to see. Though you can feel free to ignore the config stuff and just do it your own in game. But I'm gonna show you the easy way. Welcome to the config. Hello, hello. This is the NPC config. Well, it's literally called NPC YML. And these are the starter NPCs that are set. I have not changed anything. NPCs are created with this plugin. I do not have citizens on my Minecraft server. So when I put, when I edit the X, Y, and Z to a location that you guys can see, you guys will be able to see these NPCs. So let's do that. We want to see these NPCs. Let's get the coordinates. There you go, I edited the config with the X, Y, and Z coordinates that are very close together so you guys can see these NPCs. Um, we're, we're not gonna create any new NPCs for now since we don't need them. We're just gonna show you Call the Creeper and the Delivery Man. Now with these NPCs, especially if you create your own to use, the config is gonna be very important. Why? Because if you wanna use an NPC to run the reward command, you are gonna have to define them in here. So if you create your own NPCs in the NPC YML, you're gonna have to define their names in here, just like with the delivery man and Carl. So if you go back, you can see delivery man, Carl. Those are the same names. But if you wanna use citizens or whatever other NPC plugin, you're gonna have to define their, pr their name, the name that shows up. So if it's a player and you defined it by the player name, for me, it will be Danielle Kush and just adding it there. Now, if you want to change the aliases, you don't want reward to happen, then y yeah, you can <laughs> you can change it to whatever you want. Let's say you want R instead of reward, but it's whatever you choose. This is the default configuration file for, for the default rewards GUI. This is the first menu that we saw, but we want a different menu. We don't, we don't want this one. So what we'll, we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna take from reward to, we're, we're, we're gonna delete all of this. And we're gonna create our own rewards. Now, the developer helped out a lot by adding, explaining everything, but uh, I'm here too, so. <laughs> now I'm gonna help you guys as well. Let's create our reward and I, I, I'm, I'm, I want to call it, no, I don't need capital, money. The next thing we want to do is find the slots. The slot is where it's located. So let's say we, we want to do, I don't know, slot um, um, 16. There we go. It's going to be placed in 
16. And the next thing we want to do is define what this item will look like when it's unclaimed. The first thing to configure for the unclaimed is amount. And this is the amount of the item that's in the uh, GUI. So for all of the pre-configured chests, and the chests, you saw that there was only one of them. But I want to be extra and do two, just so you guys can see the difference. Next thing we want to do is material. So you need to make sure that you're using the correct bucket items for the version of the plugin that you're using. Um, because we want to, again, be extra. Um, our awards is going to be stain. Uh, the next thing is damage. Now, th this probably sounds a bit weird and freaky or whatever. Because why would a GUI damage you? No, 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 that's not what it means. Damage refers to uh, die, basically. So if you want to do material well, you'll be able to set the damage. So if you want it red, you would do a certain number for red. And that's what it'll do. So this allows you to do certain colors of, stain of stained glass, wool, whatever else there is to color. So stone doesn't have any color sets. If I do a, a damage, it will come with an error. Name, this is important only because this is the name of our item. This is what they're gonna see when they hover over the item. Uh, we wanna do double, make sure that there's no errors. We wanna do in gold and bold, not gold, I mean that's blue, no, aqua, yeah, there you go. Aqua and bold, we wanna do money. There you go, money. The next section is lower, I copied and pasted it. So we can just edit simply this one and we can do meow and then hi, hi, hi. There you go. That, that, that's a very good lore. Now we're done for the unclaimed section. We're going to set up what the item is for the claimed. And it, it's mostly the same kind of thing. But there, at the end, there are a couple of extra things that we can set, which makes everything different. And for the lore, again, I copied and pasted only because of this. What does this do? Well, if you read <laughs> what it says before next delivery, you, c you can guess that this is how long until the person can claim this reward again. Now, the beginning of the new part is we're, we're going to need to untab. Cool down. I did not indent this correctly. There you go. So these indents are, might be a bit too much. Yeah, I did not indent this correctly. This is not good. There we go. In, I'm fixing my mistake. Oopsie. Cooldown is per how long you can claim the reward. If you guys want a 24 hours, it's going to be 8, 6, 4, 0, 0. Ticks. Because the cooldown is measured in Minecraft ticks. Commands work in this format. You have to state what is doing the command and then what the command is. So if we do uh, console, that's who's running the command, because that's the person who has permission. Um, if I do, let's say essentials, I don't know, echo, give, uh, placeholder, player, and then, I don't know, $100, there you go. There you go, reloaded, and as you can see from the shadow, if I look to my right, boom, ba boom. These, they, they, they conflict, but this is the location that I set the NPCs to be. And you can see that if I right click, oh my God, our rewards menu. We deleted the other ones, so they're all gone. And we can see two stones, and it's money, meow, hi, 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 oh my God. And if I click it, I claimed it, and it's gross, and I got a hundred dollars, and it all works. The, with NPCs, it might be a problem where you set an NPC, and it doesn't work. When you right-click or interact with it, it doesn't do the menu. And if it does that, in the case of that, what you need to do is just restart the, the server. Not slash reload, not, that, that's the wrong spelling, not TRS reload. The restart the whole server and try again because that happened to me several times 
and after restarting the whole server it worked again and this is the end thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you have make sure to smash that like button i would very much appreciate it also if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe that will also be even more appreciated and if you're not on my Discord server yet, it's the community Discord server for this for this YouTube channel. Make sure to join it. Finally, I created an Instagram account for this channel where I'm going to post anything and everything related to this channel that I can find. So make sure to follow it. And that's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!